Okay, hi guys. So I'm gonna try to do a makeup tutorial. I'm trying out this little cool background just to give it like a soft feel. And I think right now is the best time um, to do these things because then you can really see the light and the natural lighting for it. So I don't have anything on my face. So you can see I'm uh, just plain. I have nothing on my eyes. I have like the little baby eyes going on or whatever you call it. Um, but anyway, so what I do usually, um, I've been using this body shop. Um, I don't know if you can see it there, oh, there you go. So it's just the body shop, the seaweed um, gel wash. And I just use it every night and every more, um, no, every night only. Um, in the morning, I've actually been using this other one. Um, I think it's a Clinique like deep cleanse. And then I've also started using an exfoliator. Um, I don't think I have it here. Oh yeah, here it is. So this is from Eve's Rocher and it's just called the Glow Granita Scrub. I think you can see it there. Oh, I don't know if you can really see it. Sorry, it's too bright. <laughs> okay, well, um, it just works really, really well. And I just use like a tiny, tiny little amount. Um, and it just, honestly, I've just noticed such a difference in my skin. I don't have perfect skin. Um, as you can see, I sometimes get like these little red blemishes on my skin or a little bit of like tone discoloration so uh color tone so like here i'll get a little bit darker um and also like maybe around uh here a little bit and it's literally like i i don't know i think it's just the way that my skin tone is um but usually in the summer i love the summertime because my skin just gets really really nice and glowy and um, tan as well and with tanning I'm just really careful too with not overdoing it because too much sun is not good for your skin um, with dark circles I do get it obviously we all do um, so as you can see here I have a little bit and basically it's just a lot if I have not if lack of water and big time lack of sleep it's so evident so again nobody's perfect perfect um, yeah, like it's really hard to have flawless skin unless it, you're born with that kind of skin. But for me, I just try to work with what I have. Um, the other thing I use is here, I'm going to take this background, um, off for now. Okay. So I just took off the background just so I think it's better. You can see probably a little bit better and the products I was talking about. Okay. So, um, so one of the ones that I really use, and this one is Ole Henriksen. I discovered this like, I think two or three years ago. Um, and I've noticed it just, it works so well with my skin. I don't know what it is. I think it's just, it's the ingredients in it are just so um, natural. And just even the smell of it is so nice. Like it smells mm, so citrusy and orange. So um, this is the one after I wash my face, um, you know, do everything. I use their serum right here, so you can see. Um, and also after that, I just let that kind of settle in. Um, then after I do that, I use their Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. So this one is infused with vitamin C and rose of rose of winter extract. So. Yeah, so anyways, the vitamin C is what really I think works for me. My skin really likes it. So I use this as well. Um, and I use one of these because I find if we put our fingers into our cream, it can cause a lot of like bacteria in there. And then that sometimes can affect our skin as well. Um, I always wash this after too. And then I use um, the little eye cream here. So this one is banana bright eye cream. Um, yeah, the ingredients are always tucked away here. Um, so yeah, it's it's actually it's actually a really, really good product that works with my skin and I've just kept using it. Um, and at nighttime, I actually used this Estee Lauder one. My mom gave me this. Um, and this is the one I use for 
my night um, my night cream and it works really really well as well um, you can actually get this one here because it can be really pricey. Like I think these creams can be a little like on the a little pricey. But what I usually do, and it lasts me about two months, and you just need a little bit. I buy the set, which comes this, this, and the eye cream together, and I think it's only like fifty dollars for all three products. So it's it's really good. But you have to really really be on a lookout at Sephora to get it. So now that my skin is all done. Um, what I do after that, I like to start with eyeshadow first. Um, sometimes I'll put concealer first, but I'm going to start with eyeshadow first and then put my concealer on, okay? Just to see how that works. Um, I got a whole set of these. Um, I forget the brand. I just saw them and I got them this week. I even got my friend a set and it brought 12 of these. So you can have one for each month. I'm sure you can buy more and just use once a week but i think once a month if you wash them really well they work well so i just put them all in here they're not the beauty blender because it's a little bit on the higher end for me right now but these ones are really really good and they work just as well just make sure that you clean them and you really really wash them really well because if you don't like bacteria can grow in them and putting that back on your skin is what can also cause you to um break out right so I'm going to be doing um, kind of a natural look um, for this one because I'm going to be doing a bright uh, red lip, all right? So the first one I'm going to do is I'll just show you. This one is kind of, um, it's the Anastasia. One of my friends got me this as well. So Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. So I'm going to be using, um, so it's this one here you can see I've used it a lot so it's Norvina so I'm going to start first with adding just like a little bit of a base coat okay so let's start the first one um so I honestly just because of my skin tone I just go in there right away and add the color so the color is love so it's like a pinky color so when you're using a red lip you don't want to depends on the look you're going for um some people like to use like um like a very kind of lighter eye and then they do uh, maybe like a darker shade on the edges um but for this one i'm gonna make it a little bit fun make it a little bit pink but then you'll see what i'll do after with it so i like to start just around here um just putting a little bit in there. As you can see, it's very, very subtle because I don't want the, the eye to overpower. It's gonna be the lip that overpowers. So just kind of patting it on. And then with just my other little blending brush, just gonna go just digging. So if you can see, I'm just trying to shape it here and I'm kind of trying to expand it a little bit make my eye look a little bit um bigger here so I might need to use my mirror for this it's the camera but see you can already see a difference there it's more lifted right compared to this one um so just something like that Yeah, so in real life, this looks a little bit more stronger compared to what you can see. But yeah, you can just see it there. And then I just want to, so then I have a clean blending brush. And I'm just going to blend as much as I can. So it's not as strong. So I'm just going to blend, 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 blend. And it's honestly looking so pretty already. I like using as little makeup as I can, but you just have to be smart how you use it, right? Um, and how to work. Now, you can already see here, there's like a big division between here and here. So now I can actually carry that on and do it all the way. Or I can maybe just add a little bit of white, um, something, probably cut it off here, just to kind of make that uh, blend a little bit better. So I'm just going to blend it out a little bit more. Okay, let me do the next side. OK, 
Okay, so here, as you can see, I've already done a little bit. So the way I'm doing it, I think it looks, it works better if I look at my mirror. I'm, I'm just going like this. So I'm moving up and then just going this way, like a little flick, okay? And I'm being very, very gentle with how I do it, right? The more you work with makeup, the more you start to understand your features and what works with you and what does it. Um, I actually ended up doing my own makeup for my wedding um, because I don't know, I just have a hard time trusting other people to do my makeup. And my wedding was really special. So I didn't want to look like a clown or have too much makeup. I really just wanted to be as natural as I could. And sometimes that's all you have to do. You can use four very good products, put them on and you would look beautiful. Remember, makeup is not to make you look like a completely different person. It's just to enhance your already beautiful features. Okay, so that is done. Okay, already there for me. Now, some people can definitely add more if they want to. Um, now, what I'm gonna do for the top one, I'm actually going to use uh, Makeup Forever. So this one here, uh, you can see I use this one a lot and this one is kind of for up here if I want to. So this one can be pretty subtle and it depends, like, I mean, if this is a date, if this was nighttime, I'd probably put a little bit more. I would even add maybe a little bit of dark in here. Um, but since this is kind of for the daytime, something you can wear, you know, if you're going to see your friend, well, right now it's COVID, so we're not really seeing our friends, but let's say if you were on Zoom, whatever, you can do this. So I just grabbed a tiny, tiny bit of it. Okay, and I always just dust it off. I actually dust it off. I don't know if this is the little cheap in me, but I dust it back on here because I don't like to waste anything. So that's kind of how I do it. So I don't have powder everywhere. So I'm just going to go in here and just kind of flick it a little bit. Okay. Because I just want it to blend. Like I want it to look as natural as possible, even though having red eyelids is not very natural. <laughs> okay. Well, like this red or pink. All right. So. just like that just to give it like a nice effect okay so see how this is already popping a little bit now I mean it depends on what you're going for you just have to work with your eye all right if you don't want this to pop just make it darker here right okay so for me I want it to pop a little I like um this, I like this part better than this one. And I like this eye lid better than this one. I know that's weird, but just this one I find just has so much, it's more like easier to work with. This one, it's kind of like a little slanted. It's okay, I love my eyes. I'm just saying you kind of have to, that's the thing with understanding your face, right? And what you have to kind of work with there. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that. I hope you can see it there a little bit. Okay. Okay, so I just closed the lid, um, the blinds because it was a little too bright in here. Okay, so I hope you can see that. It's honestly very, very subtle, okay? Um, you can barely see it, but in real life, it's like, it's popping. The color is really, really popping. I'll post a picture of it. Um, Actually, the, one of my pictures that I posted on Instagram, this is the same look that I'm doing. Okay, so you can take a look. All right, so once I'm done that, um, then I move on to my um, eyelashes, okay? So I don't wear uh, fake lashes. I try to, but since I wear contacts, it was so hard to just keep up with them. I think I only lasted a week. My eyes got so, so dry. Um, and I just felt like there was like, I don't know if my eyes are like claustrophobic, but I just felt like there was something like on my eye and I wanted to take it off because <laughs> I always like to take all my makeup off before I go to bed. Like even if it's three in the morning, 3 a.m. in the morning, I'm going to bed, I'm still there washing my face, right? So I don't think I could do it, but I definitely love wearing like, you know, temporary fake lashes. Those are fine. They can just take them off when you're done. 
Um, so anyways, now I'm just gonna be using mascara. So I'm going to just do this with my eye, as you can see. Just like that. Okay. Honestly, I don't press too hard. I just gently go like this, do a couple, like five seconds, and then I let it go. Okay. And then the next one here, do the same thing. All right, so just like that. Hard to talk and do makeup at the same time. <laughs> okay, anyway, so there, as you can see, that it's literally just a little lift, okay? Just like that. All right, perfect. Now, see how on camera it looks like I'm not wearing that much makeup? In real life, it looks like I'm wearing a little bit more, but that's kind of like the look I like to go for. I don't like to feel like I'm wearing so much, okay? So with mascara now i've tried the really expensive mascaras like 30 dollars, 35 dollars, and i've also tried maybelline which is like eight bucks or or whatever it depends which store you go to honestly i'm just stick to maybelline um i find that i mean if there's a vegan one i probably would want to start to look into that more um but for just really expensive ones sometimes I feel like it's just the brand name um they do the same thing um I do want to try that Huda Beauty one though but yeah we'll see maybe later on okay so all I do with this one um with mascara I just go up really gently and the and the one I use is Maybelline Last Sensational the reason I like it is because of their brush so see how it's pointy at the top I love that because I then have more freedom um, and it even has like just the way the brushes are. So if you're, yeah, if you're a girl, you understand how amazing this brush would be for you. Okay. So it just has more control. You can control your lashes a little bit better. So I like to just start kind of going like this, flicking them a little, separating them because this stuff dries up pretty fast. So, and then once that starts going, um, I just start going like this. Okay. Now to avoid clumpiness, you kind of want to shake it a little bit. Shake, shake, shake like that. Okay. And my mom and sister have super long lashes. My lashes are, I think, okay. Like, I mean, I'm not complaining. I do have lashes, so I'm happy about that. Um, I usually don't really need always to wear fake lashes because sometimes when I wear fake lashes, I feel I look a little draggy. No offense to that, but it's like, that's not really the look I'm going for. Um, it's just too much, too much drama going on. Like my face already has like strong features. So it's like, if I keep, if I add too much to it, it just literally looks like too, too much. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna, okay, so there you go. So you can already see the lift there. Okay, see this here? So usually I'll just go in and kind of try to get rid of that. That just means I had too much mascara on the brush. Just to make it subtle. Oh, see why I love that? You can kind of maneuver it a little bit there. Okay, so, and when you do that, like, um, yeah, that's going to bug me, but you can get an eyelash brush and just brush it through, okay? All right, so then I move on to my next eye, all right? Okay, so this one is done now, all right? See what I mean? Like, this eye is, like, naturally more lifted. <laughs> I don't know, this one doesn't behave always, so I always have to work a little bit more on it. Um, yeah, I tried to get rid of that. Another way you can do is just take, go like this, take mascara off your brush and just comb it through. Okay, so for my bottom lashes, um, for this look, I'm just going to make it very subtle. So I'm just going to be very, very careful not to get, because it's such a pain um, once you get something on your uh, mascara on your 
skin. It's so hard to come off. Okay, so I'm just being very, very gentle. Okay, um, there's some looks where I play around where I'm a little bit stronger on the bottom one than the top. It, I know it sounds weird, but it does create a different look, okay? Um, so. Here. Yeah, so I'm just kind of combing like little by little. Oh, I think I might need a new mascara soon. All right. Okay, so there you go. See how it's very, very subtle, but it's still there. And it this does, for my eye shape, it does make my eye pop a little bit better. Okay, then I'll do the other eye. Again, I don't know why us, when we put makeup on is we have to open our mouth. <laughs> So I'm just going to do this like that. So I'm just being very, very gentle and just taking my time with it. So I would do this a little bit faster, but since I'm doing a video, I'm just trying to make it as perfect as I can for you, for all of you. Okay. So I'm just going to do it like that. You can see. All right, so that's on. So we got this, our eyes pretty much are done. We're just gonna do the eyeliner. Eyeliner I'm gonna leave last because now I'm gonna do my concealer, okay? Um, so concealer, the best one, honestly, that I've ever tried is MAC concealer. It's just so phenomenal. I just honestly haven't, I've been working from home, so I haven't even like, really worn makeup that much. I just started wearing makeup a lot. Well, not a lot, but like more lately. Um, but uh, the one I found, another one is e.l.f. Okay. So this one is a really, really good, pretty good uh, drugstore brand. Okay. It works. Some of their products are good. Some I'm like, uh, maybe I'll pay a little bit more for something, but this one is not bad. I think the shade might be a little too light for me because I did try it, but um. Maybe this one is actually medium sand. I might be a little bit darker, so. Okay, but anyways, I'm going to just show you. It has a big, big wand. It, you don't need that much. So I literally, because it's very concentrated. So I just like put a tiny, tiny bit on here. Okay, so I'm going to just dab it in here a little bit. Again, just being very, very gentle because you don't want to be so rough on your face okay especially this area you want to be very very gentle with it so i'm going to put some there now for contouring i usually just contour this little area remember um lighter colors are just going to have more reflection on there okay um so as you can already see i have already a lot of natural contour like right here natural contour um, this area here, natural contour, this one here, it's like natural contour. It's just the way my face is shaped and the way the light hits it, right? Um, here you can see also it's naturally contoured um, here as well, okay? Um, here too, right? So that's just your natural contour. So you want to really work with it. If you look at my nose too, it's kind of goes like, nat like um, you want to so naturally like this a little bit but you can work with makeup just to make it a little more symmetrical because the more symmetrical it is it just it's easier to uh, take pictures of okay so I'm just going to put a couple little dots here just like that okay and then I put just like a little bit little bit like because this is very concentrated so I put a little bit so that I can then add on and then I'll put a little bit here too uh, one thing I forgot to mention, um, for your lips, especially the winter, so I have it on already, um, I actually use, let me just show you here, oh, here it is, so I put my lip balm, like, with my, I forgot to mention that before I put my makeup on, so I let it kind of, like, keep my lips moisturized, so this one here is called Kale's, is that how you say it? Kale's Lip Balm Number One, so I got this as a gift, so it just comes like this. 
um, just put a little bit on. I'm not going to do it now because I already have it. And if, if it's too oily, I find the lipstick won't stick as well. Um, I got this from one of my other students as well. So it's Eve's Rocher, their um, lip one as well. So I carry both of these in my purse. This one isn't bad, like it's good. Um, I just find for the winter, I need something a lot more. So this one is the one that works wonders. Okay, you can even put that in your nighttime routine. Okay, so so right now I don't wanna let this dry. So I'm gonna grab this. This one is a little bit moist. So you can do this with dry. Um, I don't like it to be too, too wet. So I put just a tiny, tiny bit because like, again, this is an, it is a drugstore product. So what I find with drugstore port products, um, some of the ingredients are not as um, good. Let's not, I don't want to say good, but they're not as like, you know, uh, higher end as the other ones. So you have to be really, really careful how you work with that compared to if this was a Mac one, I could definitely wet this and it would work a little bit more nicer. Okay, so I'm just gonna dab it. So I really dab it like this, okay? Just to make it blend here. Okay, sorry. Okay, so I'm just gonna look at my mirror here. So see, it's already drying. <laughs> I think I let it dry too soon. Too long here. So I have to be really fast with this one because it will dry and stick on. So I'm gonna probably have to put a little bit more because it kind of just see it just stuck on there but yeah I just go like this yeah so you have to be fast with the elf one because it does dry really really fast so um it's not as oily as like I would say like a, a mac one it's a little more oilier but once it stays it stays uh, with e.l.f., I feel like you have to keep reapplying it throughout the day, um, and it does kind of sink into your skin a little bit faster. So depends on what you want to go for. So as you can see here already, you can see how it's more just like filtered out, right? All of my dark circles are pretty much gone. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit more just because that one dried up fast and I wasn't able to work with it as well as I wanted to. So see why you want to just use a little bit because it might be blabbing on like me and then it dries up. Okay. So a little more. And then just going to, so I just go gently really, really fast, but I'm literally just going like, like really, really gently. Okay. Now, one thing I'm going to say here, when you're doing this, be very careful because see how it's already blending into here because this one is probably too big you can use those tiny ones um what what can happen is it can ruin your contour right so you really want to be careful not to get it on your nose because that's not what we're trying to conceal okay there we go. Yeah, that looks really good, actually. Well, I think so. Let me know what you think. <laughs> okay, so again, it looks a little brighter. See what I mean? Like, I feel like this is too, too bright for me, but whatever. It makes me look like, I don't know. Anyways, we'll work with it with what we have. Okay, cool. So now what we're gonna do next is I'm going to now use, so I always leave my eyeliner for last because if I'm gonna put, I like to wing it out. So I just leave that for last. Okay, I'm gonna be using this one, which is a vegan um, foundation. Um, there's another foundation that um, is also really good, the Estee Lauder Full Coverage. That's the one I use on my wedding day. Um, that one was recommended by, I think it was Sephora when I went to do all of my, try out to make up there anyways this is Burt's Bees it's actually like you can see I've used a lot of it it works really well um the smell of it is honestly it's I'm gonna just be honest it's okay it's just it's vegan it's very organic so it smells like honey um so some of you might like it personally me I don't know if I really like it but it doesn't stay on all day it's just when you're putting it on you can kind of get a scent, scent of it but it works well for just something that you want that's not too heavy duty and that's not that's not going to clog your skin right 
Okay, so I'm just going to, it had a little, um, what's it called? Little bumpy thing, but I kind of broke that off by accident. <laughs> Okay, so there's different ways to do can um, put on your foundation. You can use definitely um, one of these. You can just go in and do it. Um, you can either grab one of the foundation brushes, um, like you know these ones, and then just go and do that. Um, but I think for me, the best way to do it is using my fingers. So my hands are washed; they're clean. Okay, you don't want to have too many oils on there. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to dab it on, okay? Okay, so I'm just going to dab it on. So I'm gonna grab a little bit and just kind of put it all over. Now I'm going, to, I'm always like to work upwards, okay? It's like you're painting your face, okay, guys? And the motion of how you put your foundation on honestly really matters. So I put it on here too. Okay, because you want it all to blend. Now, I try not to put any on my concealed area just because, well, I guess I put it there already, but just because um, it's going to affect what you've already concealed. So again, that's the other debate too. You can put your concealer on after you put your foundation. Um, I usually like just to put it on before and then if I need anything else, changed up then i'll put it after okay so there that's on there um i'm not gonna leave it like this obviously so now i'm gonna grab my little sponge here and i'm just gonna start dabbing it okay so this is where it really matters okay so i always work up 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 now since this isn't a beauty blender the sponge um beauty blenders i do find that it's a, they are honestly they work miracles when it comes to foundation so if you're if you're doing your own makeup for like when i did it for my wedding i i, I used all high-end or more high-end products just because i knew that the pictures that were going to be taken the quality was going to be better um but for every day i'm not going to buy a beauty blender that's $30 for every day, but it's really up to you. I'm just being a realist. Okay, so, so I really wish you could see this real. It looks really, really, really nice. So now when I get to over here, I really, really want to make sure it's blended because the last thing you need is that line, right? So I even just take it down a little bit here. And like I said, this is, this color matches my skin. So it's literally just blending in everything. As you can see. So it looks like I'm not wearing any foundation and it's really light as well. And it's not oily. One of the things I did notice about this one, it's a little sticky, okay? Now again, it's vegan. So with all these products and I mean, they're natural, so they're still all work in progresses, right? Um, so again, to be honest, it's it's not a horrible foundation. It's it, it works well for what I need it for. Okay. And it's not full coverage, so just so you know. So if you really want something that's full coverage, this won't do it. But I mean, the less full coverage you use on your skin, um, probably the better for it. One of the key things is you want to make sure that the skin underneath your makeup looks as beautiful as it can. And also, if it doesn't look like a picture on Instagram, do not shoot yourself over it. Because remember, a lot of people use filters, right? So do not compare yourself to something that is not real. So I'm just going to go like this again. So as you can see how much smoother that is. Okay. So now um, I'm going to, so see, I don't even need any more um, concealer. I think that looks perfectly fine. Okay. So now I'm going to do my eyeliner. Okay. Eyeliners are so much fun. I've been doing eyeliners, eyeliner, eyeliner since I was like in junior high. 
Um, my mom was so like, she didn't let me wear makeup. So I would like sneak and do it sometimes at school. <laughs> but anyways, I've always loved playing with makeup and trying to find ways to, you know, make, um, learn ways how to do makeup. Okay, so what I do with my eye shape, so I'm just gonna kind of go, so as you can see, I can actually follow the line. Now that's just gonna make my eyes smaller. So I'm going for, if I'm going for that look, then that's awesome. Or I can follow this line here, over here. And then if I'm, if I kind of lift a little bit here, it's gonna make my eye lift a little bit, okay? And then I always add a little wing, wing to kind of give it that little cat eye, because as you can see, my eyes are pretty big. Um, they do go a little bit like this, they're almond shape, um, but giving it that little cat eye at the end kind of makes them look a little bit more elongated, which is kind of the look I'm going for since my eyes are already pretty round, right? Okay, just my thing. I mean, if you have elongated eyes and you want to make them around, there's other tricks. But for me, I like having that more cat eye look, right? Um, so I'm just going to start here. You can see. Okay. I would do it on camera, but I'm scared it's not gonna work. Okay, there. Okay, so I can't, it's very subtle to lift. Like, it's just the way I stroke the brush. See that lift like that? Okay, that's just my style. Now you don't have to do that, okay? You can literally, um, okay, so now see how I start to build it here, going really slow. And I just kind of go like this. Okay, you see that? Okay, so now I'm going to start to fill in from the bottom. And then I want it to join there. Okay, so that's pretty much how I do it. Okay, so when you look from this point of view, you just see this, right? Like that. Okay, if you can see. See how the light reflects it? You can see that. If you look from this point of view, you see that. My mom hates when I do cat eye. I don't know why. She just hates black eyeliner. <laughs> I don't know why she hates it. I, I, I don't understand. I like it, but I don't know. We're different that way. So I'm going to do my next slide. Sorry. I might not be able to see this one. No, this eye shape, this eye is so much more different. And I'm putting this, maybe we shouldn't do that, but my hand on my face is going to get rid of. Yeah, this eye is like the most difficult one for me. So as you can see, I'm already kind of there. So I'm trying to make it as similar. Now, it can't be exactly the same as this because this eye shape is a little different than this one. So you kind of want to work with it, right? Um, but yeah, my left eye doesn't. It like doesn't want to wear makeup, but whatever. Okay. There. Okay. There you go. So that's kind of how I do that one there. Okay. And you can already see a difference and I literally don't feel like I'm wearing that much makeup. Okay, so now for my eyes. So in high school and um, and I think, yeah, high school, early 20s, I would always do my uh, all the way line here and I would do like really dark um, black eyeliner. Now that I'm older, I find if I do that, I look older. <laughs> so before it was like, I looked really young. Obviously I was in junior high. So if I were eyeliner, I probably looked a little older, but it wasn't like really old. But now that I'm older, it's like if I put this, I feel like I look more older, like too much going on. So you have to kind of work with it too. So what I like to do, um, I just grab a little bit. This one is from, oh, Eve's Rocher as well. Okay. So I'm just going to, I, I don't pull it. I just kind of go like this and I just do little dots. 
okay just little tiny little dots not inside but on the outside it's literally very 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 subtle okay so i just do little dots like that so you can see a difference already now if you like it without the bottom liner you can just leave it like that but if you like it with this there you go okay so then i'm going to do my other one here Very, very subtle here. I'm gonna have to use my mirror for this one. Now you can either, if you really want to be, you want to add a little sass to your eye, you can honestly um, add a little pink in there. Okay, and that's just gonna give your eye a little more pop. But remember that I want my lips to pop, so I'm just trying to make this as not so dramatic because my lips are gonna be the spotlight okay all right so after i'm done that then i'm gonna do my eyebrows so i already have a lot of hairs i tried waxing my eyebrows and yeah i don't know it's okay but i can't see anybody right now because of covid and they were getting pretty hairy so i had to like wax a little bit off here but so all, all i'm gonna do is i'm just going to um comb them first okay now you can see they don't have much of a shape right now. So I have to literally work with what I have. Um, I'm just glad that I have a lot of eyebrow. I've gotten my eyebrows, um, I've done the microblading it's called, where you, you temporarily tattoo your eyebrows. Oh my God, my eyebrows are so dark. They look beautiful, but even the lady told me, she was like, yeah, you don't need it. And I'm like, okay, so. Yeah, I know I'm not gonna do it anymore. Anyways, I use one, I don't use dark, even though I have dark hairs, I don't. I actually use a lighter one, like a more, there's black and then there's like gray and or like a gray kind of brown. I like using brown. Now it's up to you, like, you know, but it works for me, honestly it does. So I'm just going, I like to start here at the bottom, okay. And all I want is, um, you know, I don't draw in my whole eyebrow. I work with what I have. So literally just kind of make a little edge if you saw how I did that. So what you do is like what I do when I do makeup, I visualize what I want first and then I kind of just sketch it out, right? So like I said, I wanted to visualize this going here and this ending here. Okay, there is something where you want to put your eyebrow. So if you see my nose, it's supposed to go right there. But I'm not, I, I don't know, I don't want to make them that long. And same with your, um, it should end here. So we can do that for sure. And the height of it should be here. But again, my I can't do that because my eye, like if you notice this eye goes in a little bit. So if I follow that, my peak is gonna be right here. And I'm gonna be looking like, kind of like, what the heck, what, what's going on here, right? So I don't want to have a peak here and a peak here. So I just have to work with, again, work with what you have. Um, I'm not saying those tricks don't work, but if you have really perfect symmetrical uh, pupils, it would work for you. But for me, I don't, I have one eye that goes in a little bit more, so. I started noticing that more as I got older. Doesn't bug me. I'm like, whatever. At least I can see. So, okay. So, like what I said, we're going to want to put this here now, kind of align it where we want it to be. I like to go with actually align it to here from my lip. So, the peak would be right there. Okay. So I'm just going to elongate it a little bit more. I don't mind elongating my eyebrows. But I'm uh, elongate it. Okay, so now that I have the main shape done, as you can see, I now just start to kind of fill in a little bit. Okay. Do you see the difference already? 
Yeah, this one's a lot darker. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna move on to the next one. So this is the fun part, trying to make them cousins or sisters because they can't be twins, right? Because again, unless you're perfectly symmetrical face, it can happen. But I don't have one and I'm okay with that. So I just work with what I have. So I'm gonna go to the next one here. I have like a scar on my face here. Oh yeah, I remember. When I was four year, five years old, I was trying to be a show off to my friends on my new bike, I think. And I fell on my face on my bike trying to do tricks. I think I was five or six. And I was trying to like show off. And I broke my thick glasses in half, scraped my forehead. And yeah, I have a scar right there. Okay. Okay, do you see that? All right, now you can kind of, it looks kind of dark for me, but to make it more subtle, you can kind of brush it a little bit. Uh, one thing with this foundation, the burnt one, actually, you just don't want to touch your face so much because it, it does need a little time to dry. Okay, there you go. Okay. So this is kind of, um, yeah, you can see here. I don't know, guys, this looks kind of weird, but okay, I'm just looking too into it. What do you think? <laughs> this is bugging me. <laughs> uh, okay, one second. Okay, there, I think that's better. It was just too pointy. Okay. So um, I just need to get my eyebrows done by someone professional, but anyways, I can't do anything about that. Alrighty, so we've done, we did all of that. Now we're going to get to our blush or bronzing part. So I love bronzer. I'm using the e.l.f. one as well. Um, some of the best bronzers I've used are from the Body Shop. They have a really, really good one and it's also vegan. Um, I think e.l.f. is actually also vegan, to be honest with you. So, um, yeah, I really try to find products that are natural or, or vegan just because I don't want them testing on animals. I'm completely against that. So I'm just going to, okay, sorry. So this is the one I'm using, e.l.f. Oh my gosh, I don't know what number this is. Oh, perfectually perpetually tan okay so I'm gonna use this one too here this brush now this brush is not too bad I find it it's a little too fluffy for blush but anyways okay and then put it back in here okay so I'm gonna just start here now this one is very light so you can really just start building it so I always start at my hairline down because that way I can kind of connect it a little bit more so I kind of just start building it I go to the sides of my hairline Whatever here, I could put some on my ears if I want, okay. Just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna start here. Now I start, before I attack this area, I go in here first, okay. Now this might be different from other people, I don't know. This is just what I do. I always leave like the, the areas that you need more attention and preparation for last so yeah I really go in there my shit's gonna get all dusty okay okay so you can already see the contour a little bit okay so now with this one here um I'm gonna just use like a tiny little brush okay and just kind of work it a little bit Okay, you can see I've really carved in there. Okay, I'm not gonna leave it like that exactly. But. Okay, so now for contouring my nose, I'm gonna start here, a little darker and get lighter and then go all the way here and in there. 
we will see the difference. Very subtle strokes to get to the bottom. See, I'm just going like this. Okay, so you can see the difference there. Okay. Now, don't worry, we're not weaving it like this. I'm going to block that out later. It's very good. So I'm just carving my nose. Now, you don't want to, you don't want to get it too in here because it's going to mess up your eyeshadow, right? So just like that. So see how already from the side, it looks like this, it looks lifted. And this side. Now I have a nose that it's interesting because it has a little bump, but the bump is very subtle. See how I put too much already and it just messed it up. <laughs> okay, so my nose, I love my nose. I used to hate it, but now I'm just like, I'm gonna work with what I have. And my little nostrils. I have my dad's nostrils, so it's like, oh. Okay. So now I'm going to grab my fluffy brushy. Take all the blush off that I can and just buff it off. Okay. Be very careful because once I was doing this and I messed up my eyeliner. Now, if it's too much, Trying to bluff it out. Okay, let's bluff this out. Okay, and then we'll just go. I don't know. I like bronzer. I feel like especially with my skin tone, it just honestly brings everything together. Okay. It looks so much different on camera than on real life. Real life, it looks like really good. <laughs> honestly, on camera, it's almost like it's too light. I don't know how to explain it, but it looks really good in, in real life. At least I think so. Right on there. There you go. Okay. All right. So, um, so this one here, if you want, don't want it to look that much, you can always grab one of these and just kind of dab it a little bit. And then I'll just take a little excess. So it won't mess up with your contour. Okay. There you go. Okay. So the last step that we do is put on a little bit of highlighter. Personally, I have to be really careful how I do this because my skin um, already, like with my features and everything, I, sometimes if I put too much um, highlighter on, it, it just messes up the contouring for me. So with the foundation, it already has a natural little shine. So I don't need that much highlighter, okay? So I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezi, okay? Um, so she's actually an influencer on Instagram, okay? So I usually like, you can use a little brush if you want, um, because that helps with getting the oils. Okay, so I'm gonna use one little one here. Now with the nose contour, like again, if I put it on the tip of my nose, it's gonna ruin everything I did here, just because the length of my nose, how it is, okay? So I'm gonna put a little bit just right here, just so when the light hits it, it makes it look a little longer, my, my face. So if you can see, I'm just going to put it here. Okay, do you see that there? So just with that little tint, it makes it look um, longer. But see, if you go to the side, you can see if I were to put too much, it's going to make this look bigger, okay? All right, now the fun part is doing it here. Where do we put it? Okay, so if you have really nice big cheekbones, it's easy because you just put it here. For me, um, 
think around there, around this area. I don't really put too much um, on here, to be honest with you. So just around here, probably. Because I don't want it to ruin my, like, eye, right? But uh, I don't want it to take away from the eye either. Okay. Now, um, you can also, if you're going out, you can put highlighter in this area and it gives you that really cool effect, but depends on what you are going for. Okay. Let's see, real life look. Yeah, it looks good. So this shade, it's more of a golden color. So you want to choose something that works with your skin tone. Since I have more of a, um, I would say a little more golden undertone. Um, having a golden highlighter works really, really nice and pretty. Do I put any highlight, highlighter, highlighter here? No, I don't. Personally, I don't because it makes my skin look too much. It takes away from what's happening here. Okay. All right. So once that's done, um, now we're going to do our lips. So this member is the main focus. So you can honestly wear this look and put like a little pretty pink and it will still look very pretty. Okay. Or just even some lip gloss with a little hint of pink, I think will look really nice for you. Okay, so I'm going to be using three different things for my lips, okay? So the first one is our lip liner. So um, I've been obsessed with like, you know, the big round lips. So as you can see my lips, I naturally have this already kind of cubit bow here going on. I'm so jealous of the girls that have like just the round lip, right? But it's okay. And I know I'm sure those people are jealous about my lips like this, so. Now you want the bigger, um, our bottom lip is a little bit bigger already naturally. So you want, you are allowed to make this a little bit bigger, but I wouldn't make this whole like that because it's just gonna look too much and it's gonna look really like uh, fake and not as pretty and subtle. So I'm gonna be using um, Exaggerated or exa yeah, Exaggerate by Rimmel and the color on this one is full color lip liner red diva okay just this one so i'm going to use this to dry my lips now make sure your lips are um your mouth is nice and moist because when you use these it if you have really dry lips it's not going to look pretty okay so i'm going to go here and i'm going to line it now the sharper this is the better um, I'm going to line it here very, very gently. Okay. The, okay. Now. Okay. So the trick to this is when you're doing it here, you can overline, you can overline all the way here. Once you get here, work inside. Okay. If you work outside, it's it's not gonna look good. Trust me, I've tried it before and I'm like, what did I do to my mouth? And then it's such a pain because you have your foundation on and you're trying to take off the lip, but color's not coming off. And you know, in my case, my husband's like, I we gotta go, we gotta go. And I'm like, ah, right? So I have a big like blob on my, my mouth. Okay, so now I'm going to, um, make this a little bigger, exaggerate it. So I'm going to overline it just a little. Be very, very careful with how you do it. And very subtle. Okay. So as you can see there, okay. And then we're going to do the bottom one. The bottom one, I always start in the middle, inside, inside, not out, inside, okay? I go like this because it helps me. Uh, inside, inside. I go, uh, I go all the way. Okay.
Now, a tip I will give you, and it's up to you if you have enough eyeliner, uh, eyeliner, sorry, lip liner. You can actually use this and you can kind of do something like this. I'll show you. Okay. You can do something like this. And what's going to happen is it's going to make these parts look a little more darker and it's going to make these look more plumpier. Okay, that's just something I've learned along the way. All right, so you got that done. Now, I can either use this one here, which is a Smashbox. I got this from one of my coworkers and you literally can just glide it on. So it's like a more like a lip gloss and it does dry matte. Or I can use this, which I got from my students as well, as well which is Eve's brochure. It is beautiful and it's 156 matte. Um, so it comes in a really nice case and it has, it had the little logo on it before. So I always, if your lipstick looks like this, try your hardest to keep it like that because this shape is what allows you to be able to glide it really nicely. So don't be like doing it like this. Like literally, this is why it's created like this. It's built this way for a reason. Now you don't want to put your lipstick all the way you want to just use a little bit that way you're not breaking anything, okay? Any, so let me go with this. So I'm going to just go in and fill it in. Okay. So it's filled in there. Now, I you did notice there's some pieces missing here. That's okay, don't worry. Then we go here. Okay, be very careful that it doesn't go over the liner. Okay, now you can dab. See, it's gone. Okay, there you go. There you can have really, really pretty lips. Now you can put a little more. Okay. And I always do the teeth check because I used to always get lipstick on my teeth. And it was so embarrassing when, especially when guys tell you, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Right. But anyways, okay, so now um, what you can do, I don't do this, but what you can do, and I mean, if you have time, I know some girls that go in there and kind of conceal this whole area, and it makes it look really, really good. It's really, really up to you, okay? So that is honestly it. This is my look right here. As you can see, Okay, so that's it. All right, so I'm gonna take this off and just show you how it all looks, the whole look with my hair kind of done. Not really, I have to fix it a little. Okay, but you can wear it with, this is for, you know, if you dye dark hair, this look will look really, really good on you. Especially if you have blonde hair, I think Red lips, red lips would look really beautiful on you as well. Um, yeah, it depends on what color of hair too. I never really thought about that. Um, but depending on the color of hair, that would be determine the type of um, shade of red that you would be using. All right, ladies. Okay. Or men. Bye.